Tom Surratt of Woburn. The challenger today, Joe Delisio of Beverly Farms. Hello again. Welcome to Cattle Pin Bowling. I'm Don Gillis, and I guess you all know by now that this program is on videotape. We do our taping sometimes several weeks before you actually see the telecast. And it is uh, always three strings of Cattle Pin Bowling. We do it right here at Sammy White's Brighton Bowl. Total pinfall determines our winner, and that winner will receive a handsome marble-based trophy from the Ace Trophy Company of Boston. The runner-up also receives a marble-based trophy, slightly smaller, to indicate he was a participant on our show, and you see the Paul Revere Bowl, and that goes to our Yellow Pages Marksman of the Day, the man with the most mark. Guaranteed prize money on our show of $1,000, 700 of that goes to the winner, $300 goes to the runner-up, and other opportunities for our bowlers to get a little rich. Well, for a 400 series, there's an extra bonus of $100. Our high-low jackpot is now worth $100. If neither hits it, we'll add $25. Do that every week till somebody walks away with whatever is accumulated. Three marks in a row, any combination of strikes or spares in the same string. Three of them in a row establishes a bonus of $50, and each subsequent consecutive mark in that same string is worth $50 a piece as long as he can keep it going. And for three strikes in a row, an additional bonus of $1,000. Should there be another to follow that, it would be another $1,000, and so on. We'll be back with the first string of today's match right after this. Now leading off, making his first appearance on our show, today's challenger, Joe Delisio of Beverly Farms. Beverly Farms is married, is employed as an auto mechanic and sheet metal worker, self-employed. He's representing the Beverly Bolomat at a 696 in winning his roll off. Here's our defending champion, Tom Surrett of Woburn. Tom, inventory controller for HP Hoods. Each bowler started off with a nine. In addition to all those other prizes I mentioned, the runner-up on our program will receive a certificate for a Fisher space pen. Four and five, side by side. Have to be some shot. Not what you'd call a spare leave. Once in a great while, once in a very great while, somebody makes one of those shots and you hear a roar. Challenger Joe Delisio. Four horsemen left side still standing as he knocks. Let's see whether he can make this spare. 
Oh, looked as if he had it, but he didn't quite get it. Nope. For a 10. Tom Surratt. Tom will be using the wood. Oh, nice try. Three nines, 27. Still looking for his first mark. Seven and ten. Hey, he'll go for the seven because it has wood there. Just hope something would happen. It did not, so he'll be trying to make this a ten. He did. And the score at the end of four in the first string of today's match, our challenger, Joe Delisio of Beverly Farms, 43, our defending champion, Tom Surrett of Woburn 37. Joe Delisio now rolling in the fifth frame of the first string. Today's challenger. Joe has a league average of 121. Oh, good try, but it didn't work. Joe's high single is 194, his high triple is 454, and I told you before that his roll-off score was 696, that's for five strings. For a 10, yes. Now Tom Surratt, our defending champion, looking for his first mark. Still looking for the first mark. One, two, and eight. For spare? Yes. Challenger Joe Delisio comes up. He has two bonus balls to roll on that strike in the sixth. First one gives him a half booster on the right side. Seven. Seventy-seven through seven. Yeah. 
There's a spare leave. One, three, six. Seven was the fill, but it's kind of a mixed up bunch of pins that are there. Got the one and the seven, but the nine is still there. Seventy-four. Three pins separating our bowlers right now. And new threat in this first string to Ron Brewer and Ed Arsenault. The two men right now with the highest three string totals that we've had in the last year. And they are scheduled to go three weeks from today live from this lane, Sammy White's Brighton Bowl, for our Yellow Pages Championship. Today's challenger, Joe Delisio. And I always ask each of the bowlers how he wants his name pronounced. Because inevitably, I will receive some notation from language purists who will indicate that I'm not pronouncing a name correctly. I know the pure Italian would be Delisio, but uh, he prefers Delisio. the kingpin, the five. Too bad. He could have used it. Nine. 101. The defending champion, Tom Surrett. Tom has won two in a row, beating Dave Romani two weeks ago, Joe Carcitti last week. which it can. It'll be kind of spectacular. Nope. 6-103. Tom not too happy with that first string. His league average 122 and Joe Delisio's league average is 121. And each of them failed, as you can see, by about close to 20 pins to make it. So the score at the end of one. Defending champion Tom Surrett of Woburn, 103. Challenger Joe Delisio of Beverly Farms, 101. Tom Surrett, our defending champion, leads off the middle string. He's on lane 38 here at Sammy White's Brighton Bowl. Half Worcester right, punching out the 3 9. One more little stronger tap, and that probably would have 
Knocked down the other two. So the middle string has been begun by Tom Surrett as the first was with a nine box. He had two marks, both spares, one with a seven and one with a four. Kingpin. The walls are down. Let's see whether he can shoot down the king. Boy, he is really disgusted with himself for missing the singles. Ten. Now today's challenger, Joe Delisio. Joe went down the middle all right as people were urging him to do but he his reward is a really tough setup a split with the four and the five the last the only two pins standing a handoff for Ralph Stewart whom you see in the corner of your screen Boy, he moved it. Good try. Thin hit, missing the head pin. Nope, looked better as it was leaving than it turned out to be. Eight. Tom Surratt. viewer jackpot up to three hundred and fifty dollars as soon as someone hits it then we will be emptying out that big drum which is stuffed now with cards and putting in brand new ones if you want to send in your guess, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll very quickly tell you that at the conclusion of our program, we total up all the pins that were knocked down by both bowlers. The total of the two free strings. And then we reach in that big drum where people have taken a guess as to what they think that total will be. First of all, as soon as I do that, Joe. First of all, as soon as I do take a card out of there, that person wins a, a couple of prizes. But if they're within 10 either way, over or above that total, then they'll win whatever's in the jackpot, which today is $350. You just send it in to Candlepin Bowling, WCVB TV, 5 TV Place, Needham, Massachusetts, zip code number 02195. 02192, excuse me. All right, spare for Joe. Got excited watching him making that spare and gave you the wrong number. Ten pin to pick up. Wood in the way. Got to get by that wood, or he's got to hit that wood to carry it in. I don't know whether he can do it, whether it's going to be a roadblock. Or a... He got it! All right, nice shot. Two successive spares, and we 
Remind you, as the pace picks up a little bit here, that at the end of four in the second string, the score is challenger Joe Delisio of Beverly Farms, 47 with a bonus ball to roll, against Tom Surrett, our defending champion from Woburn's, 38. Tom Surrett now rolling, fifth frame, middle string. Just about at the halfway point in the match. Tom representing the Candlewood Lanes. He's a member of the WCBC, which is going to be starting its new season in September. League average 122, high single 190, high triple 464, nine. Al Giglio keeping score on that big score board today and Frank Galazzi keeping score beside me. As usual, Joanne Panto is our statistician and secretary. Here's Tom Shuret. There's Ralph Stewart, our lob line judge and referee. Play was testing the floor there, didn't it? He made it. Now Joe Delisio comes up with two marks in a row, a chance for some bonus money. Bill Rubin is our producer and director. All right, he gets five. Three marks in a row. He has $50 in bonus money. the two pieces of wood and that's obviously why he had to wait until everything stopped rolling has to go over that 10 all by himself he got it and it's worth $50 more in bonus money he's up to $100 in bonus money now Tom Surratt this is a bonus for Tom and he winds up with a four and a spread eagle Next week's challenger is a former champion, Hugh Ferguson of Brockton. Nice shot. Too bad it didn't go. Beautiful try by Tom Surrett. Now, challenger Joe Delisio of Beverly Farms has four marks in a row. Tough split. Eight is the drop. Maybe, maybe he can do it. Eight and nine. Too bad. Bonus stop. Ninety nine. 30 pin lead in this string. He was down by two, so he's coming in, so he's 
leading by 28 in the match. Both bowlers have a lot of folks rooting for them today. Oh, pretty shot. Good string working for Joe Delisio. And right now, Tom Serrett, our defending champion, struggling, having just rolled a 103 opening string and having his problems here in the second. Single pin for a spare. Yes, right on. Couldn't have been better. All right, he's at 89. Plus this. Big eight. 97. And he's got himself a spare. One oh seven right now. And six more. One thirteen. Still a long way from his league average of one twenty two. But he's improving. Joe Delisio. Six. Take the three on the left and get the. But nope, that seven pin did not go. One twenty five. Five. All right. Now he's got the five on the right, which would be the diamond plus the ten. One thirty three. One thirty four. A little warm, as you can see, with Joe wiping off the perspiration and also Tom. One thirty four and one thirteen in the middle string and the total is right on top we remind you at the end of two strings Joe Delisio of Beverly Farms today's challenger 235 Tom Surrett the Woburn our defending champion 216 challenger Joe Delisio leading off the third string on lane 37 here at Sammy White's Brighton Bowl that's where we do our taping on lanes 37 and 38 Usually our taping is done every other Monday. Nine. All right. Joe began the first string with a nine, the second with a ten, now the third with a nine. Made himself $100 in bonus money in that middle string. Oh, a beauty! Take another look at that one. 
Uh, that is the way to make the three, six, seven, and ten. Pow! Tom Surratt. Tom capable of getting really hot, too. He has a high single of 190 and a high triple of 464. Yes! Now the noise level starts to increase here at Sammy White's as the bowlers heat up. Seven. One, two, and four to pick up. Yes! He has two in a row. All right, we've got a nine, then spare, 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 so far in the third string. Here's our challenger, Joe Delisio. Bonus ball. Big nine. The four to pick up for a spare. Too bad, too bad, too bad. Just missed it. They always amaze me that they can hit so consistently. 60 feet away, rolling that small ball against that skinny pin. Six and ten to pick up. Question is, how much will that hurt Joe? He had spare leaves in both the third and fourth and did not make them. Tom Surratt has started off with a pair of spares. <clears throat> oh, he wants one of those to go down. He's going to use the piece of wood on the right. <clears throat> He'll try to kick it into the 10, have the ball go over and get... Nope. Well... He fooled me. He went for the deeper piece of wood rather than the one that was nearer to him. beginning to tighten up a little bit. Challenger Joe Delisio still in the lead. to the nitty-gritty now. Just one mark. So far, by Joe, in the third string, three by Tom. Yeah! Good spare in the second. All right, let's see what Tom Surratt can do. He has three marks in the first four frames. Knock down all the pins every time. The other one is a 10. And he's working on a strike right now. Two bonus balls. There's the first one.
eight is the fill. The lead has really been cut down now, although Joe Delisio, the fact that he has to it's down to three pins. But he's got a spare up there. Let's see what Tom does. Tom has a strike up there. Hang on. Just three pins separating our two bowlers right now as we move into the final four frames. Joe Delisio working on a spare. Moves to lane 38. Here he goes. This is the bonus. And he gets eight and a terrible, terrible leave. A split. A four and a six. He got it. Good enough. He was able to hit it so he could kick the piece of wood back. Bonus again. Seven. try what a great try a magnificent try didn't work but oh what an effort nine one oh one now Tom Surrett remember coming up here with two bonus balls to throw and in completed frames right now it is a three pin lead in the match for Joe Delisio. First bonus ball gets him five. He got it. How about that? A big clutch there, and he picks up ten. Now the lead is one pin, and he's opposite a seventeen box. So if he gets eight on this, it's a tie. He got eight. We are in a tie right now. He's opposite a nine. Is he going to? He really wanted that spare. He really wanted it. One pin lead in the match for Tom Surratt going into the final two frames. One pin. Okay, Joe Delisio. If they should tie, we'll have a two box roll off. Hang on to your tray tables, boys and girls. Nope. No spare there. That leaves the door open for Tom. He leads by one. Every pin should count. Nine, one, ten. He really wants a mark right now. There's a chance for one. He got it. It wasn't exactly the way he planned it. He planned to blow it out of there. It delayed a little bit, but it fell. However, it's a big clutch spare. Now, now he wants a big fill. And then the pressure will be on Tom Surrett. Eight. All right. He gave him a challenge. Twenty seven pins. That means that Tom Surrett needs twenty six pins for a tie. Twenty six for a tie. 
He's got the spare leave he needs. He's got it. Okay. He needs six to tie as a fill, plus a ten box. Whereas he lived, he needs 26 pins. He got five. He got five. He's got. He's got a mark now. He did not do it, and Joe Delisio has just won it. Joe Delisio has just won. Tom Surratt needed six. He didn't get it. He got only five. And Joe Delisio has come through and won it by two pins. How about that? Tom Surratt looks up on the board, can hardly believe it. Next week, Hugh Ferguson of Brockton will be challenging Joe Delisio. Final totals as we look up on it. We're going to go now to our Hilo jackpot worth $100 and our home viewer jackpot worth $350. As I remind you that our new champion is Joe Delisio of Beverly Farms. And the final totals are Joe Delisio, 363, Tom Surratt, 361. Okay, first of all, how about a hand for these two guys, huh? What a great match today. Right down to the wire. Really nice. That was real, real competition and uh, clutch performances by both guys in the last two boxes, I want to tell you. I would not like to be out there having to do it. I want to tell you that. Uh, we have... Uh, with your totals of 363 and 361, that makes it 724. That's going to be our winning number today. And just again, for anybody out there who's wondering what I'm doing with this big drum, I'll remind you again that inside of this are cards where people are trying to guess what the total pinfall both bowlers combined was going to be today. We turned out to, we, it turned out to be 724. Now, if I reach a, in here for a card and that card is within 10 either way, up to 734 or down to 714, then that person is going to win a jackpot worth $350. If it's not within that 20-pin uh, range, then we're going to add $50 more. Now, I will tell you this, that as soon as I pull out a name, that person is going to win these prizes. A Regina electric broom. Don't vacuum. From now on, electric broom with the most advanced electric broom of all. The two-motor electric broom power team makes cleaning a breeze. And a handy travel alarm clock in a tan leatherette case. Boy, this thing is really packed, and when we do get a winner, we're gonna empty it all out. So if you wanna get a card in, please just send in your total and send it along to Candlepin Bowling, WCBB TV, 5 TV Place, Needham, Massachusetts, zip code number 02192. You want me to turn it all the way? Um, all right, guys, are we gonna have a winner today? No. I think so. I think so. A lot of people guess in that range. I went in the middle last week. I'm going to go over on the right-hand side this time. See whether I can find a winner. Remember, anywhere from 714 up to 734 would be the winner. And the card is uh, from Florence Lantine of Washington Street, Reading, Massachusetts. And her guess is 742. So we add another $50. And next week, it's going to be worth $400 will be in here. All right, our high-low jackpot right now is worth $100, and our new champion, Joe Delisio, gets first try on it. All right, Tommy. No, not today. Okay, gentlemen, would you come over here? First of all, Tommy. Now, let me get a microphone so I can hear you. I get confused when you guys have these uh, big days, you know? 
Come over a little bit closer to me here so that I can't stretch the microphone anymore. It's caught underneath that thing. Okay, you get the smaller version of this, but uh, no bonus money. However, you were our Yellow Pages marksman of the day because you both had the same number of marks, and yet you had uh, more strikes, so you walk away with this. Uh, you know, it's not bad when you finish up this. You, uh, three more weeks, the uh, Yellow Pages championship, you can come right back. You're still in a hot streak, huh? Well, I'm pleased. <laughs> I'm pleased. No complaints. Well, we were delighted to have you on the show. Thanks, sir. You come back and see us again, will you? I forgot to give Tom his uh, certificate for uh, Fisher's space pen. Phil Rubin, forgive me. I'll get to it. All right? Joe! Thank you, Tom. Thank you. There it is, huh? You knew you were going to get a, a, one trophy, but you thought maybe it might be the small one. You're, you're happy? I thought I was going to lose, yes. But I'll tell we you... a small Phil in that spare but a lovely anyway. clutch performance by both of you guys. Sensational job, really. You. Were you nervous? Yes, very. My legs were. <laughs> I needed one mark just to make them work. And I know it. Yeah, when you came right down to there, you knew how close it was, I knew. and you knew, and then you knew that he had to get a six to tie or a seven to win. What happened? What, 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 how'd you feel I when you saw the five? Uh, yeah? They might live. I said a prayer. Well, I knew he had to come out. He yeah. To get a yeah. Right. I said a little prayer that the ball might be small. So well, I listen. To come back. You, uh, you rest up, and next week uh, you've got a pretty tough challenger coming your way. But uh, you're going to have $700 plus $100 in bonus money, another $800, and Hugh Ferguson will be your challenger Thanks. next week, okay? All right, we'll see you then. Don Gillis for the whole crew. Bye-bye, everybody. See you next week, same time.